Here are some basic definitions that you need to know. Displacement is the change in position. Average speed is distance traveled over time elapsed. Velocity is not just speed, but it's also direction. Thus, speed is the um, absolute values of velocity or the magnitude of the velocity vector. And average velocity is displacement over time elapsed. Instantaneous versus average. Instantaneous refers to a quantity at that instant in time, while average refers to the average quantity over the time elapsed. So for instance, average acceleration is equal to the change of velocity over time elapsed, while instantaneous acceleration is the limit as, t, as the change in t approaches zero of change in velocity over change in time. Example problem. How long must a runway be for a plane to take off if it needs to reach a speed of 33 meters per second and has a constant acceleration of 3.0 meters per second squared? Well, we also know that its initial velocity is zero meters per second because it starts out from rest and its initial position is zero meters. Thus, from our list of formulas, we find this equation. 33, so that's we plug in our numbers, 33 squared equals zero squared plus two times three times x minus zero. 1089 equals six sets is found using basic math, and thus x equals 1.8 times 10 to the second meters. Thus, in the real world, they'd probably make it 200 meters. In free fall problems, we are to use the same formulas as listed on the screen below before. We also assume no air resistance, thus the acceleration is just due to gravity, and we use the gravitational constant of negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Thus, when a ball is thrown upward, the acceleration is the same when the ball goes up and down. It's equal to the gravitational constant. The time it takes for the ball to go up and down is the same and the velocity at the peak is zero. At the same position, the velocity is equal on both sides of the parabola, but, on, but when the ball is thrown upward in the air, it's positive, and when it's coming back down, it's negative.